Good afternoon, oil traders. It is just after markets have closed here on the East Coast in North America, and oil dropped all day long. Um, it was, <laughs> being mostly bare, I, it was nice to watch, but it was painful. It was honestly painful, uh, the test of my patience waiting to um, you know, sell a short position and contemplate buying a long position. Um, ultimately, I decided not to buy the long position, but I did sell the sh uh, one of my shorts, and let me take you through exactly what happened. Um, so basically, the, uh, the day started um, with kind of a guessing game as to whether or not we would uh, drop uh, below the kind of 46.60-ish area, um, and then ultimately whether or not we were going to get below 46. Um, and then how far below 46 we were going to get. Um, once we dropped below 46, I entered my first um, sell orders and buy orders with a target price um, that was rather ambitious or greedy, however you want to take it, um, closer to 45, which of course we never hit. Um, and then as the afternoon drew to a close, uh, I started kind of revising my orders, uh, first moving it up to 45.40, then 45.50, and ultimately selling the short with literally, no kidding, um, seconds left in trading at 45.65 or thereabouts. Um, I had contemplated putting in an order to buy a small long position as well, um, you know, given the size of this drop today. Um, it's quite possible that we have a bounce back up, or at least partial part of the way up. Um, so I did want to have, at least cons I considered buying long, um, but at the very last moment with the kind of minor rally um, prior to closing, I just didn't feel right chasing it in order to get my buy order in. Um, I did have to chase in order to not get a partial fill with my um, short sell order. Um, so that's why I say I sold about 45 65 I think one part of it sold better than that, part of it sold a little under that. Um, but, you know, money in the bank, so no complaints there. Um, specifically, if you check out my portfolio on tradingjournal.ca, you can see the revised information there. If you flip over to the results page, um, you can see this position here. Uh, so this was uh, an eight and a half day or eight and four hour, uh, eight day, four hour hold. Um, so just over a week. And uh, we got out for 2.64% and uh, $342. Um, so, you know, very small um, take, but, you know, it was a small position. It was only t not even 13% weighting on the portfolio. So it was a very small position. Um, so sometimes you, know, you look at that and you say, you know, is it really even worth it? Do, you, do we wait for a better return? Um, but the way I look at it is, it's not so much about the fact that it's a small profit or a large profit, it's about positioning. So the fact that we dropped, you know, an oil price drop of 2.62% um, today, I just checked there, um, you know, that's, that's significant already, you know, a 1% drop is a 1% move, I should say, is, is normal, but once you're getting close to 3%, that's already, you know, not typical. So, you know, it's hard to leave that on the table. Um, so I decided to take it. Now, if we climb on Monday, then I will just repurchase that short. So it gives me the opportunity to reposition that short in anticipation of another drop. If we continue dropping on Monday, then I still have my next short position from 45.30, um, which of course will get will become in the money um, shortly thereafter, and we'll look at selling that. Um, also, if we drop, then I'll certainly be interested in buying long, and we'll probably make that a more sizable long purchase than I had planned to do today. Um, so that's how my day wrapped up, and that's how the week wrapped up. Um, I'll check with you guys over the weekend to do a summary of how the week panned out. In the meantime, I'd love to hear from you guys as, as to how you managed to play this kind of slow death in oil today. Uh, you can hit me up down below on the comments in YouTube or uh, check me out on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my uh, portfolio, performance, trades, charts, etc., etc. Um, and in the meantime, have a great weekend. 
And uh, I'll check with you guys over the weekend and then on Monday ahead of trading. Take care. Cheers.